this I, is PDA also? Uh, poop? This is MEA. MEA. But uh, PDA, PDA will work also, yeah, because basidiobus is actually not about, like, really, you know, uh, some fancy stuff. So oh, this, no, this method, this <laughs> method <laughs> I got from some <laughs> journal, uh, British journal for pedagogic, whatever. Uh, I, I forgot, but I can send you. It's actually, it's not online, so it, it was hard to get it, but it works like crazy, okay? Oh, what happens to this one? Thank you. Oh, so, so you have Use agar, both agar, so this is MEA on the bottom, and this water agar on the lid, okay? Can we say no animals are injured during this process? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty safe. What, what, you what lost you, it again on I your know. plane. Well, I just flamed it for, for water agar on the lid. Water agar on the lid, yeah. So I it's have a special two. way of making it play. Yeah. Okay. So I, I I used to just pouring the bottom end of the lid. I need, I need. The lid the yeah. Well, what you want you want to attach, but you want also to keep your uh, filter paper moist. Okay? Because if, if it's not moist, so you can, like, because I usually I use fresh plates. If it's not really moist, you can add a little bit sterile water. Uh, Which is? Not, not alcohol. But it's getting moist, yeah. It's getting moist. We had some here. Uh, we but had better a, to have some. Tube with sterile water. Yeah, we did. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. Okay, so this is our nutrition agar. And this is our water agar. So, why you use water agar? Because you want just to avoid everything. You know, there is not my not many organisms which will be happy on water agar, and even less which will be happy on sterile uh, filter paper. Next is the most tragic moment: you remove poop from the owner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, like. Uh, you scare the shit out of him. This looks like... <laughs> it's already happened. Okay, yeah. get a close-up of the uh, little guy. Okay. So... Come on. Jump, jump. Hey. We will release you, I promise. Release you back to His natural... Na natural habitat. <laughs> I'm not leaving this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. And so now we have our, our, our poop sample. And what we need, we just need like make like a like uh, you know Raphael or, or Michelangelo kind of stuff, <laughs> just very nice, uh, very nice and uh, artistic. Yeah, I could in the microscope to see if it's uh, has spores. I never. Why not? Well, I, I should as a scientist, but I know it works anyway, so <laughs> I don't so care. So what percent of the poop has? Uh, I uh, like when I did it. I did 21 sample and one did not work, okay. and it worked both. It was half of natural habitat, half of pets, and it works not one time from the pet. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. It from, happens from the, the from the food. There's a high. Uh, okay, so this is done, and again you do the, the same thing. So this is a lid now, and you just wait. <clears throat> So this is supposed to be pretty fast because I think <coughs> the the conidio four from Basidiobulus develops within like hours. So this is forming the conidio four. It's going to have the capillary conidia. Yeah, it's going to shoot. And it's going to shoot. And so this is one centimeter high kind of distance between uh, paper and and, and you just put a new lid on it. It's no, 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 because it it might be a lot. So basically, if all when I see the colony, I will just cut it and transfer. Are these phototropic? Yeah. I don't think No, not so. really. I not really. It's gravitropic. Yeah. It might be some, it might be some, uh, maybe more intense shooting with spores during the day. I don't know. But there's no carotenoids or anything like that with them, though. Yeah, so, and this is a method for basidiobulus. And yeah, it worked like champ. 